Typhoid fever is a growing problem in many developing countries, including in Pakistan, fueled by a strain of the bacterium that is resistant to antibiotics. It can cause a high fever, diarrhea, vomiting and death. A recent study in Nairobi revealed a dramatic increase in drug-resistant strains. It is just one example of a disease that is making a comeback. The largest multinational study of its kind shows that across the world, an estimated 1.27 million people died directly from infections caused by bacteria resistant to multiple antibiotics. It is estimated that uh, if we don't find alternatives by 2050, uh, millions of lives will be lost and there will be $100 trillion lost output. The study, published in The Lancet and led by the University of Washington, analysed data from 204 countries. Poorer nations are worst hit by antibiotic resistance, especially sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. Most deaths were caused by respiratory or blood infections. Scientists say the misuse of antibiotics over decades has encouraged microorganisms to evolve into superbugs. For example, people have viral infections and they were, have been described, prescribed antibiotics for uh, very many years now. And this over the years uh, has made the problem very severe. So the bacteria have become really resistant to these antibiotics. The World Health Organization has warned that none of the 43 antibiotics in development or recently approved were enough to combat antimicrobial resistance. So what can be done? Sagona, along with scientists around the world, are working on new treatments called phages. These are viruses that can specifically target bacteria and they can be used in combination with antibiotics or on their own to clear bacterial infections of multi-resistant strains. Despite the promising new treatments, scientists say it's vital that existing antibiotics are not overused to help slow down the development of the ever deadlier superbugs. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.